A Channel 3 exclusive, police radios in Norwich are in desperate need of replacement, but an overhaul could cost millions of dollars. Voters will decide on the issue at the polls in just a couple of weeks. And tonight, Channel 3's Kevin Hogan has an inside look at the issue and is live tonight with more. Kevin? Well, Dennis and Denise, the city has debated the issue of getting a new radio system for the years. Now, the current system, it does work, but there are problems. And that's the problem. It doesn't work everywhere for a system that was installed back after World War II. And right now, we're, we're only, what, a quarter mile away from the police station. Veteran Norwich officer Ryan O'Connell is afraid sometimes to use the police radio. 1020 to headquarters. That's because headquarters may not hear him because of dead spots. Last year to call in headquarters. There you go. Prime example. Didn't work. We took our cameras on an exclusive ride along to see and hear the problem for ourselves. The reason the system didn't work is not just because of the hilly terrain, but because the system is old and outdated. It was designed and installed back in the 1940s. When you're using your radio system, you, you, you need uh, something that's reliable. You know, it's a lifeline. On the ballot in November for Norwich voters is question number three. Voters are being asked to spend $2.7 million to replace the police radios to better protect them and officers in the field. A lot of times you have to get on your cell phone uh, and call the station and let them know your whereabouts and what you need. Many taxpayers had no idea there was a problem or a ballot question to vote on, which could cost each property owner about $14 more per year for two years. I would say yes. I mean, it's worth it for $14 for the safety of myself, my children. Yeah, absolutely. I'm all for it because we have to have our officers and our police come as soon as they possibly can. I'm a quarter mile away from police headquarters at Brown Park, and when officers are here for events in the park, the dispatch center can't even hear them on their portable radios. 1020 to headquarters. We are in the Occam section of town, and... Nothing. Nothing. One organization of police chaplains even bought two billboards to promote the ballot question because they know how unreliable the radios are. There are sections of town where we can't get dispatched to hear us and we can't hear them. Now the city council has already given the project a stamp of approval and if approved by the voters next month, the whole system could be installed by this time next year. Live the Mobile Newsman, Norwich, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.